Music is Art, live at the center, celebrates Western New York's best contemporary musicians and visual artists. Tonight on Music is Art, live at the center. You know, I used to do a lot of portraits, you know, every hair in place, um, very detailed. And in order for me to break out of that, I was in the shell. In order for me to break out of it, I just, it started off as practicing, and I was doing like a lot of gesture lines. And then those gesture lines kind of grew into the figures that I draw now, I pretty much focus on figures, um, and they're called the village. I'm all about line. You know, my line work is very line driven, you know, and those lines become the they kind of play. They kind of play with each other and make figures. Is it like I said? It's very suggestive, so that way people can interpret it for what they, you know, read it. They can read it for themselves. I used to draw in pencil, you know, like just, you know, really detailed drawings, and I was always afraid to add color to them, you know, whether it was crayon or paint or whatever, because I loved how it came out. I loved how, you know, how simple it was, and I was apprehensive about adding color. And as I grew older, I noticed that a lot of people use color. And I was like, well, let me use this to my advantage and just kind of make that my style and accept it because I really still have difficulty in applying color. So what I do now is within my pieces, I make it interesting enough so that way people can spend more time with it because the more time they spend with it and look at it and see how the lines integrate with each other and they dance and play around with each other, you know, the, the, you know, the more they'll appreciate my work and they'll see that you know, the absence of color is not a bad thing. I was trying to explain my work to people sometime how in a song you have notes, but and each individual note is only a note, but when you put them together, it becomes a song. You can look at each individual you know, person of the village and they can stand alone, but each little line in between, you know, for their for their fabrics, what I call them fabrics, for their attire, for their face, all those things are notes to me, you know, and eventually they kind of come together as a song, which is the completed village. So I always say that people, when people like my artwork, they must hear the song. It's, it's always new for me, it's always new, it hasn't been boring yet for me. <laughs>